in this lecture, I'm going to discuss these two questions. So let's start with question number one. Let x be a Bernoulli random variable with this probability mass function. In part A, we have to compute the expected value of x square. Well, this should not be difficult. We know that expected value of x square is equal to summation x square multiplied by probability of x. And this is equal to 0 whole square multiplied by 1 minus p plus 1 whole square multiplied by p. And this is equal to p. So the expected value of x square is equal to p. Now let's move to part b. In part b, we have to show that variance of x is equal to p multiplied by 1 minus p. So we have to calculate the variance of x in this part. To calculate the variance of x, let's use this formula. So expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. So to use this formula, we have to first calculate the expected value of x. We know that expected value of x is equal to summation x multiplied by px. So this is equal to 0 multiplied by 1 minus p plus 1 multiplied by p. And this is also equal to p. So now the information that we have is expected value of x is equal to p. Expected value of x square is also equal to p. And the variance of x can be calculated using this formula. So we can write variance of x is equal to p minus p square. So this is equal to p and within brackets we have 1 minus p. And that's what we had to show. Now let's move to part c. In part c we have to compute the expected value of x raised to the power 79. So we can write expected value of x raised to the power 79 is equal to summation x raised to the power 79 multiplied by px. And this is equal to 0 raised to the power 79 multiplied by 1 minus p plus 1 raised to the power 79 multiplied by p. And this is equal to p. So the expected value of x raised to the power 79 is also equal to p. With this, we are done with this question. Now let's move to question number 2. Suppose that the number of plants of a particular type found in a rectangular sampling region in a certain geographic area is an random variable with this probability mass function. Is expected value of x finite? So we know that expected value of x is equal to summation of x multiplied by p of x and we are given in the question that p of x is equal to c divided by x cube for values of x ranging from 1 to infinity and 0 otherwise. So this means this is equal to x ranging from 1 to infinity x multiplied by c divided by x cube. Right? Because the probability of x is equal to c divided by x cube for all the values of x ranging from 1 to infinity. And we can take c outside as it is a constant. So this is equal to x is equal to 1 to infinity. 1 divided by x square. And this is equal to c 1 plus 1 divided by 2 square plus 1 divided by 3 square plus and so on. So this is an infinite series and we have enough proofs available to show that the sum of this infinite series is less than infinity. So this implies that expected value of x is finite because it is c multiplied by a number that is less than infinity. So this is all for this question.